Interior Dome will be looking much different in a few weeks as construction continues. Soon you're going to notice the changes as you drive by. News Channel Lines Josh Martin joining us live on the SU Hill right now. And uh, Josh, tell us about the progress. It looks like it's, it's continuing on the roof. Christy, soon fans and passersby will start seeing the vision for the new Carrier Dome as we make our way through October into November. Construction is on schedule, according to Pete Sala, the chief facilities officer here at Syracuse University. Today, we got a chance to see a drone fly over and talk to Pete Sala. The drone is used to track the progress of the construction. Brown steel pieces have been put into place along the outline of the existing roof in a few weeks. Those beams that make up the new roof, ones that we've only seen in pictures, will start being put into place. So the next phase, hopefully within the next week or two, I would think maybe in two weeks, you're going to start seeing the crown truss show up. Very, very large pieces of, of spiral steel and then very, very large big box girders. Those should start coming here, I would think, uh, the middle or end of next week. Big home game Friday night for the Syracuse football team against Pittsburgh. 40,000 people are expected as construction continues here at the Dome. I'm going to channel my inner Jeff Kulikowski and remind people, get here early, get here early, get here early. Know which gate you're going to. Construction can make things very confusing up here at the Dome. And with that, with so many people expected, it's important to get everybody in so they can watch the game. Live in Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. Thank you, Jeff, or I mean Josh. <laughs> Construction on the $118 million project will continue through the winter. The staff has already been planning on snow removal.